and welcome to today's video. We're going to be unboxing our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is my paid for, not PR. I paid for this. This is $25 plus tax. We'll get into all of that, but before you guys start leaving your comments down below, yes, Haley will be back with us to do Ipsy versus Ipsy, mother versus daughter. I have just started to unbag these separately. I get on a, a little bit more detail. Well, I say that, but it's the plus, so we never know. Um, but over when Haley and I do our Ipsy versus Ipsy, mother versus daughter, we kind of ram through everything really, really quick and show you guys what we got in our bag. And then we see who got the better bag. So the videos are a little bit different. So we will be back. We will be putting them head to head and you guys get to decide which one you think is better as well but if you guys are new here and you're like dang this girl talks a lot yes yes I do and if you wanted to know I'm a Gemini with ADHD and over here we always embrace the hot mess my name's Rhonda and it's a judgment free drama free stress free zone where we sit back relax unbag play in makeup talk about makeup and remember it's just flipping makeup we're just here to have fun we're here to forget about the craziness that's going on around us what the heck was that? If you guys only saw, oh, you, you probably did. There's a camera. Okay. So like I said in the past like couple videos that I've been filming, I pre-filmed a ton of videos and then I took a few days off, a week, and I'm back and I'm off. So maybe I shouldn't take so many days off in between, but I've been doing this thing and yes, I'll get into the unbagging here eventually, but I have been trying to do work-life balance and in that if you guys are new to my channel and you don't follow me on my vlog channel I did purchase a Peloton almost a month ago and so within my work-life balance I'm trying to make time for me and working out and I have been loving it to the point that I will sit down and film five videos for a whole week so I can spend extra time on that daggone Peloton. I don't really think that's a bad thing. Anyways, if you guys were on the fence about a Peloton, not sponsored, but oh my God, it's amazing. Absolutely freaking amazing. Anyways, that is that on that. Let's go ahead and get into the unbagging. <sighs> Can I just say thank you to those of you who leave comments down below that say you don't mind my rambling that yes you can keep up with my rambling and it just feels like you're sitting there talking with a girlfriend and I appreciate you because that is what I've always wanted this channel to be like I remember when I first started it I'd have people like try and compare me to like freaking Jaclyn Hill or something like a real profesh and I'm like sis my lights are from Amazon. At the time, my camera was seven years old, um, and I would film off of an iPhone as well. And I'm like, we're not here to be profesh. We're here to have fun. Like, I, I, my brain doesn't work in a professional manner. You know what I mean? Like, whatever comes flying out of my mouth, it is what it is. So, friendly reminder, we keep it cute or we put it on mute. Cause your girl's got some anxiety and depression issues and I don't need my mental health getting jacked because of mean comments, okay? Okay, so a little information of four minutes in, a little information about this bag. Like I said, this is my paid for Glam Bag Plus. This is $25 a month. You do get to customize three out of the five items. You pick three, Ipsy goes based off of your profile and picks the other two items. Now, I don't know what was happening when it was time for choice for my Ipsy bags, but I was not able to get my choices in or confirmed or anything. Matter of fact, it would say, it, it clicked another email eventually or kicked me another email and was like, hey, you're running out of time for your choices. I'm like, girl, I done made my choices. You just won't accept them. So I don't know what ended up coming in this bag. So, like I said, $25 plus tax, you will get a bag. These are larger size bags than what you typically see in the glam bags. These are like a drawstring type of bag. Really great material. You guys said it's like a Sherpa, I guess, kind of material. I don't know, I'm not fancy. So, there's a lot of stuff in here. So the first item I see in here, this is an Ipsy exclusive by IBY Beauty, the eyeshadow palette in Fireside. This looks really pretty. 
So I'm gonna try and pull off as much information as I can going to my Ipsy app for you guys. Now, like I said, when I do Ipsy versus Ipsy mother versus daughter, we don't get into all the deets only because I post these videos where I give you guys more in-depth um, information regarding the items in the bag where Haley on her channel does the same thing as well. So jumping in to this item here by IBY Beauty, Again, I didn't pick anything in here. It was not working for me, but this does have a retail value of only $15. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I mean, it's a cute palette. Um, it's very ColourPop vibes to me. I mean, I'm not mad about it. I don't think it's focusing. Are you focusing? Uh, okay, so as you can see, we got a nine pan palette here. It's cute. It's cute. It's definitely a lot of shades that I already have. I do like that it has a mirror in here. It's not like a fun house mirror. So I am actually going to put this aside for a giveaway though. But like I said, it's cute. Okay, so the next item in here and by the way these are all full size items this is a full out brow gel tinted volumizing brow gel by complex culture which i do believe you guys told me this brand is by ipsy so this is what the packaging and everything looks like very similar to what the brush packaging looks like so that's cute and it does have a retail value of $18. Now, if you do go into your app, it does like give you coupon codes and stuff. Oh, this brush is really big. Actually, it's kind of two sided as far as that goes. I don't know. I'll try and zoom in, see if my camera will show you guys. One side is like mascara wand bristles, and the other side is definitely um, smaller. I do like the color. The color is definitely something I would use. Definitely more on the taupe side. So I'm not mad. I will definitely try that out. Moving right along. Hi, Moki. What is that? I don't know. Must be, oh, I think it's bleach. Sorry. <gasps> it's okay. We'll just take black marker over it. Shit. So sorry. Um, I think I'm getting blackheads. How do I get out of them? Like, what do I put on my face? Sorry, I'm back. My um, youngest, as you guys heard, needed me, so I had to go find her a little product um, to, you know, help her. Anyhow, um, so that was the next item that we saw in here. By the way, there is a card that comes in here, but it doesn't give you the price of anything or what's in the bag or anything like that. The next item is by 111 Skin. This is a three-phase anti-blemish booster. I wanted this. This was one that I was trying to pick. However, it would not um, work. So, little information about this. As we know, 111 Skin is super expensive. This does have a retail value of $135. It is an acne treatment, which is actually really perfect. I'll let her use this as well. It does help to stop breakouts before they start. With this preventative anti-blemish booster serum, a few drops will help regulate sebum production, refine pores, and reduce acne-causing bacteria. Plus, it's got anti-inflammatory benefits to soothe the redness and irritation. I love that. So, I feel like we haven't seen these types of options in a long time now that I think about it. At least I haven't. So I'm really excited to see this as an option. Unfortunately, they sent it to me. So moving right along, the next item I see in here, oh, this is uh, the Overtime Contour Blush Duo. And I think this is by the, yeah, Complex Culture. Let's get into this. Uh, I do, this was actually the item, it's so weird. This is what I was picking. I remember this. I remember saying that's what I wanted, but oh, this is so nice. Um, but like I said, it wasn't going through. Oh my gosh, I so get Jouer Cosmetic vibes. That is actually beautiful. I am very, very excited about this. And there is a little piece of paper in here that shows you where to apply each item. Very, very soft and creamy, no scent. That's the swatches, not that I'm like the best swatcher, but I like that. That's like a bougie compact. 
very very nice okay let's see retail value of this product right here again by complex culture it does have a retail value of 35 dollars. it's full size blush and contour duo the contour and blush set is exactly what you need to sculpt and brighten your complexion i actually really like that this makes me happy okay ipsy is doing good very good all right moving along to the last item in here that is bubble wrapped up what is this Is this nail polish? I think it's nail polish, guys. Oh, it's nail polish. Oh, it's nail polish. Why would I smell it? Um, it's pretty. What is this? No, it says number one. Smith and Colt. This is really bougie looking nail polish. It's huge. Like, that seems insanely big it's in the shade bitter cashmere daydream i'm not mad about it it's pretty it's a very like muted color let's get a little information on this i'm really excited about my bad guys like i'm like come on Haley, come on all right so a little information about this nail polish i will say the picture that is showing um, in my account is prettier actually. I don't know if my camera will pick it up. It's got more of like a bluish look and here it's more of like a grayish muted, I don't even know. Uh, this does have a retail value of $18. It says it's a light green polish and it's the Stuff Dreams. It's super shiny, chip resistant, eight free, AKA free of harmful chemicals. So I like that, I like that a lot. So anyways, that is everything in my bag for the month of December 2020 for Ipsy, in case I forgot to mention that. I think this is a really good bag, guys. Like, I'm really excited by this bag. Like, I was very, very nervous because like I said in the beginning, I tried to make my choices, but it just wasn't getting confirmed. It wasn't going through. And the only thing I do recall trying to get my hands on was this and this so i'm sure obviously i picked something else but like i said it didn't matter because it wouldn't get confirmed anyway so anyways i am very very pleased with this bag i think that i don't remember loving my bag from ipsy last month but this is a good bag. So anyways, what are your guys' thoughts? Were you able to make your choices? Like I said, you get to choose three out of the five items. They choose the other two items. And my guess would be offhand, knowing me, I probably would have chosen uh, this one, this particular item. Uh, so that means they would have picked these two items and I'm not mad about their choices, to be honest with you guys. I think they actually did really good. So anyways, this is my paid for bag. I'm happy with it. It's definitely worth more than the $25 I paid for it. So I'm pretty happy. Like I said, stay tuned for Ipsy versus Ipsy a mother versus daughter coming to you right here. As soon as we film it, I edit it and I upload it and schedule it. So there's that. Anyways, don't forget to check Haley's channel out for her full unboxing as well as all the other get ready with me's and vlogmas that she does. Don't forget to check me out on my second channel. I upload Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9 p.m. over there. It's just called Hot Miss Mama Vlogs where I just do a lot of rambling. Um, I do show some Peloton workouts because I'm obsessed with that Peloton. It's amazing and I'm pretty sure this is the longest I've ever gone where I've actually been active and worked out every single day. More than like three days in a row. I know, it's crazy. You get little like, st I call them stickers, but they're little like badges in your account and it keeps you accountable and I need that. That's the kind of person I am. Anyways, follow me over on Instagram for more God only knows. And until next time, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Bye guys.